Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Inscription. If you haven't seen part one, well, you should have done that, shouldn't you? Because this is part two. Uh, we're gonna check out more of Inscription by popular demand. Actually, right now, uh, I, would, I just wanted to play more of it, so I don't actually know if I'm gonna post this video yet. But I did know that I wanted to play more, so let's continue. Okay, now if I remember correctly, in the first video, we beat the Prospector and the Fisherman. And then now we're moving on uh, to the next stage, the wetlands, with uh, this guy. Who, we broke into their safe and we found like another living card, I think, which the first one was the stoat. The second one was the stink bug, I want to say? And I still don't really know what these are. Well, I'll deal with it later. Um, right now, I, I do want to keep playing cards, I'll be honest. Um, now, if I remember correctly, our deck isn't particularly good but we're gonna try to make do with it. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Oh, here she is. Oh my God, who's this? Is this the trader? Oh, do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Wow, a totally different person. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Wait, I have a rabbit pelt? I thought I had like a golden pelt. What is this? Mirror. What? It won't tell me it's covered in blood. What does this thing do? It's like some sea serpent thing. Well, I gotta take it. I guess I'll take it. What does it do? Is that a, a golden pelt? Magnificent. Wow, thanks. I can get a mole man with it. What does the mole man do? He's got burrower. Okay, okay. Nice. And then also reach. Doesn't do any damage. Has six health. So it's basically just a big shield. And then we got this thing. The the douse? Bellist is their ability. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is zero power, one health. Okay. For for two sacrifices, you want me to play that? I don't know about that. And then we got Pack Rat here. Pack Rat, I feel like, is not bad. I really want to know what the hell Gek does. What does Gek do? I'll just take Gek. You know what? It's a card I can play with no sacrifices. That seems all right. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Oh, where'd she go? Whoa, she disappeared right in front of my face. <laughs> do we go to the campfire or do we go... Because I think actually... Well, is there a way I can see what items I have? You can't use that right now. Fine. I actually don't know what items I have. I think I've just got the piggy bank. So let's go recoup items. Oh no! That means we're going to play against the guy, but he's got his little cheater crow bottle. Should we take the scissors or the squirrel? Squirrel. The frozen opossum. That pitiful opossum. Why? What? What is the what does the ice cube do? If it's created in your hand, a frozen opossum is defined as zero power, five health, frozen away. Okay. Right, but like what does frozen away do? Frozen away. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Okay. Right. So it has to die first. And then... What? I mean, I guess we'll take that because it's interesting. Or we could take another piggy bank for, for bones. I already got one piggy bank. Let's see what this thing does. Alright. Let's play your little cheater deck. Alright, what does it do? Looks like a little elk. Does that mean that they move around? <laughs> Oh, they're having a reunion! You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But, I suppose, we are in deep this time. <laughs> Who are you talking about? I need to be in the know. All right, what do they have? What, this thing? Stinky. Ooh. Which means that... Anything that I put opposing them loses one power, which is not good because this moose buck has seven HP, by the way. 
and three attack, what? Hey, Stoat, do you still have poisonous? No, that was a different run. Stinkbug has stinky, squirrel here, wolf. Dude, this guy is gonna kill me. I feel like we just have to let him through unopposed. If we let him through unopposed, then we're gonna have to do at least three damage per turn to make up for it. Oh gosh, okay. Um, we're gonna have to do some things here. Okay, if I want the stone now, the stone needs to take damage. The mole, however, oh, the mole, so annoying. Here we go. Okay, let's put the, let's see, but it has to, that's right, okay. And then, but then what if we, what if we play the squirrel now? What if we play, what if we play the frozen possum? You know what? Let's see what it does. How about you go ahead and attack it, moose buck? I'm gonna go ahead and play the squirrel here. And then, uh, let's go ahead. Dock these two, put the wolf there. And then we'll also play the stink bug. Back in the game, that's right, okay. I'm gonna do some major damage here, some four damage right there. Okay, the moose buck attacks, oh, but then it moved. Do you see how it moved over? Why did it move over? <laughs> Excuse you? Oh no, stink bug, you're gonna die, buddy. However, I think I actually, I think I actually win because the wolf's just gonna attack for three and then I'll win. So, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I guess I, I guess I win. I win! Oh no, the mole! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been so cocky. Turkey vulture. So how many of these do I have? I, I have, I have two, I think. Yep, 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 uh, go. I was cocky there. It's been a while since I've last played, so. Oh, that's, oh, that's just a regular, oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that at all. Dude, okay. What the hell is this thing, bro? What is this? I'm just gonna play it. What does it do? I don't understand what it does. Did you say, did you say enough? I'm sorry, bud. Um. Right. Well, draw a card first, right? Um, sure. The beaver, which we don't need. Um, so why does this thing have two health? Oh, it mirrors the attack opposite of it. So if the thing has seven attack, then this mirror monster will also have seven attack. Oh, I see. Well, not great. Did I just win? Yeah, I won. Yeah, see you later. I had to use up two of my items to do it, but he freaking cheats in that one, so. Worth it. Oh, the trapper. I've the most exquisite pelts. <laughs> oh yeah? The first one's free. Right. Now I've only got one tooth and I've been noticing these. I actually can't buy anymore. I've only got one. This is what they're used for, they're currency. Uh, yeah, well I don't have any more, so. Uh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't buy any more. Okay, so I can like remove a card from my deck or I can do the little thingy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if I do this, then I have to play against the cheater again. I don't wanna do that. He brings his little bottle in, I don't like it. The choice is yours. Okay, so we, we sacrifice something to make something stronger. Marvelous, so so weirdly, the stink bug is okay with being sacrificed. The stoat never wants that, though. I'm sure you've noticed. Um, so this is to give an ability to something else. I honestly, I'm never gonna play the beaver. I'm just not. Two sacrifices for a 1-3? Bad. Hello. Oh uh, yeah, you would like you'd like that, wouldn't you? Hmm. Okay, so the beaver comes with protection. So you know maybe. Do we enhance Gek with something like that? Maybe I should just like slam down a wall at a moment's notice for free. Let's do that. 
Yeah, sure. Gek, you want to be a little stronger? You could use it. Yeah, he comes in with two dams. That'll be my, uh, that'll be my oh shit button. Okay, so we're fighting. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. The flash? I like how we're learning bits of story. So we got a boulder here. What's with this moose buck thing? Where did you get this thing? A three power, seven health card that you can just slam down. How come you don't have to make any sacrifices? Hefty, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Oh, the last one had that too, right? So he'll move over. And then Mole Man here is just a big defender. Wow, it's a very defensive deck, it looks like. Aww. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's see, it's gonna have three health, so... Don't wanna have it next to the Moose Buck. Probably wanna... Actually, oh, but it doesn't have any attack power. If it's a get, if it's if it's beside something that doesn't have any attack, oh no! If I put it by, by the boulder, it will do nothing the entire game. Hmm. If I put it against the moose buck. The moose buck will just kill it next turn. So I have to I have to put it here. I have to put it here so it can at least get an attack off on moose buck. I have to think ahead. Um, I don't understand what this rabbit pelt is doing. So I'm just gonna Right, so see, so the moose buck attacks me, unfortunately, but then it moves over so I can get an attack in. Rabbit pelt can be used, I think, for a sacrifice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up. Wow, Kaminsky, amazing. I actually don't have any sacrifices. Let's see. So this will do three damage here, and that's not bad. This is a this is a tough card to deal with starting off. I can't put Kaminsky out yet, because then Elk Fawn's gonna come out and just kill it. So maybe maybe I put Stink Bug out. Actually, Stink Bug would be pretty good right here, because it could live through the Elk Fawn. Good play. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you approve. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just do this. I- Oh, but it attacks the Mole Man. Mole Man gets pushed over. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this. Gek, that's not what I wanted. But, I, I mean, I guess... I guess I'll just do that for now. We're get, getting a big traffic jam up in here, actually. Mole Man's gonna take forever to die against Stink Bug. I didn't think about this. A wolf. Can you sacrifice the rabbit pelt? No, you cannot. I have to sacrifice the stink bug. So the rat pelt's gonna sit there for the rest of the game. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, this is what I gotta do. Sorry, darkness take me. There we go, kill the moose buck, please. Get him out of the way. Thank you very much. Um, Let's see, I, okay, the elk is actually gonna kill the wolf next turn. Damn, dude. I'm gonna have to just draw. Turkey Vulture here, and we can get some bones there at least, so... Yeah, I don't really have much else here. Oh, actually the Mole Man blocked it! The Mole Man actually blocked... The Elk from coming in and killing the Wolf. The Elk Fawn can actually kill me if it attacks again, because I'm at four damage right now. And I haven't done any damage to them because this Mole Man keeps taking all the damage in the entire world. It's almost dead. I'm just wondering, I mean, I... Well, I think no matter what, unfortunately, I just have to put a squirrel here. Oh, we might lose this one. Darn. Oh, you did extra rollover damage. Oh, and I got two elk to worry about. Jeez. Right, I can, I can smash this to play the turkey vulture and keep me in the game briefly. Because the turkey vulture will attack. I'm going to do it. There we go. Look at all that. Now, where should I put this? That's the question, that's the question. I guess I'll put it here. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, maybe it does. I got late night brain. No, the alpha can't come in blocked by the boulder there. Actually, I think I lose this no matter what at this point. Yep, I do. 
Yep, I sure do. Look. <laughs> There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Nice. Okay, I lose this one. I, I totally mismanaged things. That is my bad. My bad. Thank you, Elks. Take me home. Yeah, that stinks. Losing a candle there. It's painful to she. Oh, shut up. I, I could do without the commentary for the peanut gallery, dude. Okay, I think I think my deck is really bad, honestly. Uh, I think it's really bad. Here's the moose buck. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild, make way for it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make way for it. Give it to me. Uh, I gotta say the frozen possum, not great. Uh, we need the squirrel. Give me the squirrel. Give me, give me the black goat. Thank you. Uh, give me, you know what? Give me two black goats. Give me two black goats. That's right. Oh, you wanna fight again? That wardrobe. We almost put me in there. The top left drawer. But the puzzle was too easy. Yeah, I know I need to do some puzzles. Dude, the card game's really fun though. Don't make me, when we gotta come in. Oh, you're always playing the moose buck. Possum, huh? Oh, we get four bones for this. And we kill the elk fawn. That's perfect. Too bad the mole man's blocking my raven. Idiot. This guy's got like a bunch of walls. Now the moose buck's gonna kill the opossum. That's fine, it's gonna give me four bones. Raven's gonna kill mole man finally. Then he can start chipping down his health. Uh, in the meantime, we've gotta watch out for elk coming in actually. Now the mole can't block the raven because it doesn't have that reach thing, mighty leap or whatever it is. So the raven's gonna hit no matter what, so Mole can't block it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's even gonna burrow over to it. So it's just gotta take the hit from Stinkbug. Now... It's frustrating here. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Stinkbug. Death again, yeah. Sorry, bud. Stoat. This spot, you sure? I'm sorry, Stoat. Okay, I'm trying my best here. Damn, I did lose my child 13 there. I didn't think about that, but the scales are pretty even. I'm gonna be taking five damage here and the scales are even. So that means, and the Raven's about to die. I'm actually in bad shape again. These moose box with seven HP are really handing my ass to me. Let's, do I have to use the black goat here? Can I use the black goat with the squirrel to play both of these? Does blood roll over? Let's find out. These are things that I don't know. See, look, there's an extra, there's an extra blood on the side. There's an extra blood token. But I still have to, I guess, does it just... How do I use the extra blood token? Frustrating. See, I was kind of hoping for that. Ah. Uh, maybe there's a way out of that. I just didn't, didn't think about it. So the stoat is actually going to kill the moose buck here on my next turn, which is great. But I do need something to block the elk. I'm gonna take the squirrel here and I'm just gonna throw down the mirror monster. And that's gonna be that. Oh, oh no, Raven's coming in. I should have, I should have put it right here. Damn. Look, he's holding his fist. Damn. I'm actually gonna do that. Stop that. <laughs> he says stop. Stop that. Rabbit pelt. I hate that this takes up spots in my deck. I don't like it. There we go. I totally deserve to lose that, uh, but I pulled it out. Um, okay, do we want to get blood or random cards? Let's get random cards. Hmm. I don't recall making that one. What the hell is that thing? Bell ring. What? I don't say. What does it say? I can't read it. I kind of want to get it. <laughs> I kind of want to get it. What does it do? Let's find out. Give me free squirrel. Free squirrel. Uh, I'll take two free squirrels at this point. Like, oh, is this another boss? Oh, it's a new one. Look, he's got a little crown or something. What is it? Oh, let's go. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. Oh, 
You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Oh, all right, Hunt Showdown. Hello. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Whoa, look at all the knives. I can't stop thinking about that wardrobe. The metal sliders, they're, they're a bit like cards, aren't they? Yes, I understand your hint. The stoat doesn't have anything to say. They're mad at me because they died in the last one. Um, in the last video, there was a moment where apparently I was doing too well. And against the fisherman, they, they had like, um, eight grizzlies just came out in the second phase, and apparently that's because I wasn't supposed to get that far on my first run. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be a similar thing on my second run, where it's gonna be like, oh, hey, whoa, 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 you're not supposed to get this far. And it's gonna try to block me out again. I wonder if this is even winnable, if I should even stress about it. But uh, we will see. Maybe we can beat the trapper, who knows. Um, so what is this, leaping trap? What is that? When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Please don't. In my hand or in his? Okay, now, um, these strange frogs, they can block airborne creatures. But that's about all they got going for them. They're not that interesting otherwise. One power, two health. Now, interestingly, this will actually be pretty good for the stoat, I believe. So let's go ahead and throw out the stoat. I'm so sorry for back on the board. I know you don't like being on the board, stoat, but it's the best uh, shot I have right now. The strange frog is gonna do a damage to you, but I'm gonna get a bee out of it, you understand? And the bee is important. Um, now we can play the stink bug, which will be funny against the strange frog, because it'll just kill it. Like, there's, the stink bug just kills the strange frog. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna put the bee against the leaping trap and it's gonna kill the leaping trap, but then the leaping trap is gonna kill it because that's just how life works. That's how these things shake out. Wait. The strange frog leaves behind a leaping trap. I did not know that part. That is key information that I was missing. So that means Stoat's gonna die. Oh, that's frustrating. And we'll play the Gek next turn when we need walls. Um, I'm wondering... Well, no, I can't play the wolf. I gotta just stick with this for now. Although if I do, I'm gonna lose my candle because I'm at four damage and the strange frog's gonna... So I have to block with something. Let's block with the wolf pelt for now. Oh, actually, I lose anyway because I didn't think about it. the bullfrog's gonna come in and do, do a damage. I lose. Oh no, I'm still okay. I guess I can't math. Now actually, I can get around this. If I sacrifice the stink bug, then I, then I don't have to lose, actually. If I sacrifice the stink bug and move something to kill the bullfrog, then the adder can never come into play because the leaping trap will never be sprung. Oh, that's a strat, okay. We're gonna have to play a squirrel. I'm gonna have to play a wolf. So, uh, sacrificing those two, right? Play this, it kills the bullfrog, and then this entire lane is plugged up right there. Now, I still need- I still need to put something, uh, in front of the strange frog here to keep it at bay. So, possum here could kill the strange frog. That's pretty good, actually. This is actually- this is actually pretty nice. What we've got going so far. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, the adder's coming and the adder wants to kill my wolf. And I do not like that. So now here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna sacrifice the possum now. And I'm gonna play the raven egg here. It's gonna turn into a raven and it's gonna start attacking for me. Um, and then I'm gonna end my turn here. Okay, so the adder kills uh, my wolf, unfortunately. But, I can actually play my turkey vulture next turn and just start wiping him out. I might just do that. Depending on what he does, I don't know what, am I gonna see eight grizzlies again? I'll just put a gek right here. Gek will kill the adder.
Raven will do the damage. Okay, Wolf's coming in. I don't care about that. I really don't. Oh, the Moose Buck. Oh, you're dead now, Buster. You are dead meat. Actually, I don't think I have to do anything. I'm just gonna see what he does for his second phase, because they always do something different. Let's see what it is. I'll save the stuff on my board. Too fast, too soon. No, it's eight grizzlies again! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too good. My, my apologies. I have to do this, that's all I can do though. Yep, oh well. And the Moose Buck moves over. Yeah, well it was fun while it lasted. I'm sure there's a way to cheese these grizzlies. The game just doesn't want me to win. You will make an exquisite pelt. Bullshit game. Stay there. No need to move. I am afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm. Where did I put that camera of mine? What, this camera? Pathetic. Do you really have- oh wait. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Wow. Alright, he's got long arms. We have a memento to create. A memento? What are you talking about? Behold, your death card. Oh good, I get to make a new death card? Because the last one sucked. Choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, we're obviously going to pick Gek. A cost of free from the Gek. Yes, per perfect. The power and health. Oh, we're going to pick three and two, I think. Yeah. Free, a, a free three and two? Extract the sigils. Let's see, I never got to play the Long Elk, ever. Oh, a free 3-2 Airborne? OP, overpowered as hell. Um, let's see. Winged death. One thing now remains, I must capture your visage. Say cheese. I am curious about the image that it uses there. Honestly, because this came from the Pony Island developer, I was half expecting uh, the picture to be like taken from my webcam or something, like some kind of like heat signature thing, or I don't know how they would do it, not heat signature, but you know, like some kind of posterized version of my webcam input. Probably can't do that though. Not much for trading, that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? Uh, a gift from the angler. What? You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. Oh, dude, the prospector's easy. Shut up. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. Wait, why does the stoat look different? Why does the stoat look different? What the hell? Is it getting flattened the more it dies? No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you may you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. A tribe? Well, we gotta pick the wolf. Come on. Wolf, crow, insect. Well, we're not gonna pick in. Wolf! A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? I mean, maybe. The wolf isn't exactly mind-blowing. Two tributes for a 3-2? Kind of bad, actually, now that I think about it. Now, hold on a second, dude. We can play your little game later. The cards keep bugging me about playing their little game. What is this? Raven Egg and Squirrel. Is this a puzzle? I don't think I can interact with it in any way. Not interact with the knobs, maybe? Don't know. Okay. So, it was bugging me about this wardrobe. So it says 0 out of 5 on the scale, right? So do we... What is it? So I can... Oh, I can move these around. So I have to do like a certain amount of... Damage, maybe? How would I do to... Do I do five damage? Oh! Oh! Skink. 
I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Wow, thanks for the skink, dude. Oh, okay, so this is actually really easy. Okay. So that was easy. So now if I want to do five damage, it's like a little- It's like a little sliding puzzle. Oh, alright. Uh, give me a second on this one. What does the little- What- what is that- what is the- There's key information missing. What does the little lizard do? Oh, I have to consult the rule book. Excuse me. Where's the little lizard thing? What does the sigil do? Loose tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. Oh! So that's what this little puzzle is based around. So these would all move to the right. What? Actually, that wasn't much of a... That wasn't much of a... of a puzzle. I just moved the cards out of the way. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Well, I don't understand what these are. I, what if I don't want them in my deck? What are these? More puzzles? Well, what are these ant icons? Oh, you are making me consult the rule book so often. Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh, I see. So it's like a... Right. So, the how the ants work is that their power is equal to how many ants you have. Well then why... Yeah, wouldn't we want this? Bam! Oh, it's four. Four damage. Oh. Oh! Okay. Curious. A caged wolf. I want to see that! Can I look at my deck? I want to see what these cards do. They like, show it to me for like a second. Eh. I guess we'll find out in, uh, in action. On the field. Move this to it. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta step away from the computer for a little bit. That's what I did just before I solved that puzzle. Okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you understand its power. Oh. Her? How do you get this out? What is... What? Why is that? I just get a free tooth? Now, what would you say is the code for this? Uh, we'll get into that later, actually. Let's play some cards. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Oh. Choose! What? Oh! Is this what I used the squirrel head for? Wait, okay, so that's spikes. Right? That's hefty, and then that's move. Let's pick the spikes. What? Oh, I get my own cheater bottle! I get my own cheater bottle! The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. Sorry, totem, that's what the official language is. I have to call it the cheater bottle. The sharp quill sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh. I didn't know that it would be on the squirrel. I thought it would be on like everything. Oh, you're gonna have a better cheater bottle than me. Look at you. Oh, wow. You, they have reach. It's almost like you knew that I had a freebie. Ow. Oh, that caged wolf. He hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. He looks to- uh, the, the stink bug looks different, too. It's got like a skull. Is it because I've sacrificed it a lot? There's more to the caged wolf, huh? Well, yeah, it, it looks like you sacrifice two creatures for it, and it comes up with six health and does what else? Okay, let's put down two squirrels. Let's bring out the caged wolf, I guess? We'll put out the stink bug here. Masterful. Yeah, it's not that great, okay? Does the caged wolf have to die? Oh, we have to break the cage. That's what's going on here. You have to break the cage. Oh. Uh, so you gotta put it in front of something that's gonna, like, kill it. Right, 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 right. Let's kill this pronghorn. It's pissing me off. You have me here. I surrender. You surrender? Okay. You sur- Did you have no other cards? What was going on there? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. 
With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. God, the DM for this D&D session is going really over the top. Okay, so I have to pick, so, so this is all about tribes. Oh, let's take this. All squirrels have poisonous. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Ah, we, we swapped them out. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? Oh! My boss battles are high stakes. High tests of high aptitude stakes. I can't remember what he said. With one flame, you either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will not let you keep the smoke. Or I will let you keep the smoke. <laughs> What's the smoke? You want the smoke? Huh? A chill mist closing around you. You are not alone. Yeah, it's the prospector again. Stand in the way of me, gold! Be darned! What is the smoke? Let me look at it. By the way, I made my wolves, uh, poisonous. Well, we should actually wait to sacrifice the smoke. We don't want it to die just yet. I mean, we can throw down a wolf. Anyway, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens against the prospector, but somehow I doubt it. Oh, more gold for me! Oh, I just lost to the prospector after all that trash talk. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Oh, damn, my death card was so OP and I never got to use it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this one's really good. A one tribute, four power, six health. Look, the stoat is looking really bad now. Why does the stoat look so bad? It looks so bad. It's like turning into something else. I don't like it. I It didn't even die that last time. Well, I died. <laughs> Hmm, you can't take more than three items, and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. <laughs> the prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Thank you very much, dungeon master. All right. Hmm, just thinking about that wolf. Yeah, I get it, we gotta get, we gotta get the wolf to, to get break free of the cage, but to do that we're gonna you know what we'll wait for the wolf cub to evolve It'll kill the caged wolf in two hits Perfect, okay. We'll take another squirrel. This is actually this is perfect. Oh Is it actually oh wait no? Hmm No, it is actually because this caged wolf doesn't actually do any damage I'll put it right in the way of the wolf cub. Please kill it. I beg of you That's right. Yeah, I wanted you to do that Falling right into my trap. <laughs> okay, what happens when the cage wolf dies? What happens? I got an achievement. What was that? I'm sorry, what was that? I just got a regular wolf. Okay, what was that? What did I just hear? Hello? Oh, <gasps> the wolf is... Free from the cage, I didn't even make- I didn't even make that connection. What am I doing with this? Oh, it goes on the other side of this! And I get... You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. What do you mean? So what's the secret with the globe? I've gotten the gold tooth- Oh! Several gold tooths! Teeth. <laughs> Out of the skull. Got the wolf. Not really sure what the candle does. Solve this puzzle. Uh, did this. Hmm. I don't know what this does, if anything. Can't go outside. Open the safe. I still don't know what this is. Didn't solve the clock. The clock puzzle is what I have left. The clock puzzle's the the next uh, frontier. Got it. Why do you look like that? Look at it. What's going on? They're not animals, are they? They're people. Oh, the stink bug and the stoat, they're starting to revert to like their human forms over time. I'll surrender. 
No, I think I want to kill you myself. Can I do that? Nah, I'll just take your I'll take your surrender. Sure, why not? I'm a nice guy. What is this right here? What is this? You came across a hobbled man standing behind some boulders. You caught me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road! Say, I like me a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it! Show me where to strike! Oh my god, I don't know. Here. <gasps> Eeehaw! Tis gold! Can barely buy giving it to you! But a promise is a promise where I'm from. Okay, well, let me just take your golden pelt. See ya. <laughs> Lucky draw. Yeah. So when are, when are we gonna see what you turn into? <laughs> you got a really muscular neck, you know that? You weirdo. What is this? What is this gravestone over here? What does this do? What? Show me some exquisite pelts. Oh, it's the trapper. Incredible golden pelts. The Amalgam. Whoa, Mantis God. That's a trifurcated strike. I was joking, that's actually what it's called. Dude, let's take the Mantis God. You have my gratitude. One attack and one health ain't a lot for a god. We can actually sacrifice the Mantis God to give trifurcated strike to someone. And I'm thinking the Great White would be crazy to give that to. Basically an instant win, dude. Dude, let's go. The Great White's gonna be so OP now. Oh! We just have to get like three, um, three sacrifices. Stop blowing out my candles. I don't like that. Give me the smoke. You want the smoke? Can't handle the smoke. We passed a massive empty bowl, surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets and scantlings. Seems the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? Oh, didn't we just see you? Oh, this great white is crazy, look at him. Look at him, we just gotta get him out. Okay, what we got coming for us? A coyote? That means I'm actually, I'm actually gonna stop here. Oh, dude, I know. Well, I was gonna say, you know what we could do? Squirrel, smoke, draw a squirrel, put down great white. But if you remember, in the second phase of the prospector, it wipes our board. So maybe we don't do that, actually. How about this? Oh, you can't cut it, it's too thick. Dude, I was like, what? I was like, well, we just cut up the pack mule. Oh, that'll solve it. You know what? Why don't we just pop the mule? Sounds like a great idea. There we go. Pop the mule right now. One mule pop coming up. Give me that. Give me all those cards. My mule, curse you. Yeah, and your wolf is dead, dude. Oh, what is this? Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Oh, interesting. Automatically played? Well, it's not that impressive, is it? I'm thinking probably what we want to do here is just put out Turkey Vulture and just start hitting. There we go. That's four damage to the Bloodhound. Takes out the Gold Nugget, but that's not going to be enough, actually. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll do it. Didn't even have to do that. Bye bye, Prospector, give me my extra gold teeth or whatever. Ooh, uh, this is interesting. I just made a new squirrel bottle that like, I think they transform. Interesting, let's see what this is like. Okay, your insects move to the right. So, I'm sorry, what what do they turn into? A more powerful form of a squirrel? I, I want to see what it turns into. Let's find out. <laughs> an elder squirrel! <laughs> I got an achievement. Squirrel Wrangler. 
Oh my god. What does this do? Oh, I... I stabbed out an eye? I didn't know what it did. It does five damage. The crazy thing is, I can't even win. I can't even win with that. No, that means I can't see this side. Dude, I can't see this side of the board. I didn't know it would do that. I can't, I don't even win from that move. I still lose this. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. Nice top deck. No, not really, actually. Horrible top deck. I'm about to lose. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. I'll take that with the hook, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it moved over. Stupid. This great white is like insane. Look at all that. Oof. Well, I won, but at what cost, dude? I can't see. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Yeah, it really isn't. Ah, uh, wait, do some of these have special effects? What is this eye? I want that one. I got an achievement, Ancestral Vision. Better find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Wait, what is that? Is there something in the middle there? Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Regardless, the choice is final. The choice is final? Okay, first of all, is there, oh my God. This is what you do with the Cuckoo Clock puzzle? Oh. I'm, I'm like unreasonably excited about this. Stunted Wolf, take the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Oh my god. What did I get? I got an achievement. I got the film roll for the camera when I die. I can take his picture. That's gotta be it. But what about the card game? <laughs> I wanna play the card game though. Okay, a lot of stuff just happened. Holy crap. A lot of stuff just happened. What is this? Look at, what is this? Thank you, stunted wolf, by the way. Are you in my deck now? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. Yeah, it's you. You are a strange beast, aren't you? It spoke. Pass one of my trials, and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Oh my gosh. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The Trial of Bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. I'm thinking... Wait, what is this one? The Trial of Wisdom. Trial of Bones, Trial of Blood. Wait, what does this one do again? Oh, uh, I'll do Blood, I guess. The Trial of Blood begin. I wish you luck. Good luck. I did it! One from the stunted wolf, one from the stoat, three from the great white. Look, the stoat is turning into like a machine. It's turning into a computer. What is going on? You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... Oh. Ooh, alpha? An alpha with poisonous. That's really good. I'm taking that. I'm taking the alpha. The inhabited alpha joined your menagerie. Thank you so much. Give me some items, please. 
Yeah, take the free squirrel. Always a good. Take the black goat. Instant great white. Oh. Oh no, you can't use that. Why not? I'm taking it. What is that? Just when I think I'm like settling into a routine with this game, it keeps being like, oh, here's some other weird crap. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that, and I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. What? It's, I, you know what? With all due respect, I'm finding it very difficult to concentrate on the card game strategy with you two talking about some storyline in the background. What does it do? Failure to the user. Nothing will happen. This bottle, this bottle of goo has no use. Look, what, what? But what does it actually do? I don't want to just like throw it down. It clearly does something. Oh, so irritating. I mean, die, I guess. Dude, I put the great white down, I win. It's amazing. Trifurcated strike with four attack. With waterborne, so it can't die? What is this? What is this? And there's a mushroom over here. What is all this? Are your pelts clean? <laughs> oh my god, it's you again. You have none. Do you understand how disappointing that is? I must give you this. Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return empty-handed again. Wait, you gave me money? I just want to see what the mushroom was, I'll be honest. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists. Yes. <laughs> yes. A and we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes. W we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Um, oh dear, y you don't... You have no duplicate cards. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. Uh... Oh... What am I gonna take a duplicate of? I think the strange larva. Thanks, dude! What a nice guy that guy was! What a nice guy! No, you're gonna do the thing too? How dare you. Okay, we gotta beat the fisherman again. You bring fresh fish? Easy choose. I do like I do like the fisherman's theme though. It's very cool. The the soundtrack in general to this game. The angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Thanks for giving me the strategy after I already beat him. Well, but my squirrels are pretty good. That's the thing. My squirrels turn into 1-3s. So I don't know if I want to give him a squirrel that's going to turn into a 1-3. Okay, so if I just throw down a squirrel. New fish, easy choose. But he doesn't have the bottle. So if he takes it, it's not going to do it. Right? I think it I think it's still gonna I think it's still gonna do it. Oh no. It blocks the kingfisher though. Actually, I'd rather have a 1-3 squirrel than a kingfisher. So maybe that's alright, actually. I'm actually really close to blanking him out again, but he just uh No, you're not gonna take that. How dare you? Play the strange larva. But then we play. Let's just play Squirrel again. Because I know he's going to take that one. Oh no, he can't actually. He can't actually hook it. Oh no, he can't, but he, he pushes the Kingfisher back. I didn't know that he worked that way. Oh, that's sweet. That's badass. I didn't know that. So I can just, I can just force him to have like four Elder Squirrels. 
Oh, my Mothman's gonna do seven damage to you, idiot. Here, uh... Yeah, go ahead and take that, dumb shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you kill my candle, hard juice. Go fish. Oh, uh, what? Bait buckets? Oh, who cares, dude? I've got a Mothman. You think I'm scared of you? The Mothman's literally gonna kill you. It is literally, it's, it's literally, you're dead. Go fish. Yeah. Yeah, you literally die. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, dude. What was that? Okay. We are past the fisherman and we're moving on to the trapper. And this time, I'm not gonna get caught out by the cheater. All right, you know what? Let's throw down this. I am serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Okay, I actually, the whole reason that I did that was because I, I was gonna put down the stout. Okay, pack rat there, pack rat kills the raven egg. Oh, this is the most I got. Oh, I lose anyway. Oh my god, that was a, that was like an insane start that they had. Don't pity me, dude. How is this? You had an alpha and two raven eggs. Oh, I look at this. Oh, I I went way too hard on passive cards here. I got nothing to kill this turkey vulture, and it's just gonna do three damage to me. That's really disappointing. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <sighs> Damn, man. Alright. We're back at the trapper. And this time... I'm going to win. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go, Hunt Showdown. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Ah, uh, it's not gonna happen. I have uh, a ridiculously good deck this time. At least it, it, it feels like it. I felt like that before. Jeez, stupid traps. Um, so, just to recap, I have this bottle that every time I play a squirrel, it puts a zero one rabbit in my hand. So basically I get double squirrels every time I play one, which is really nice. I'm also gonna play the smoke here, I think. Actually, what I'm gonna do is play the raven egg there. Get some easy bones. Also get an easy raven here. However, I am down in, uh, yeah, okay, let's see. This could be, this could be fine actually. Play the stink bug. Yeah. Okay. Um, play this. The mole man. Actually, it would be very good here. I think I'm gonna do this actually. I'll play the mole man. He's gonna take tons of. He's gonna take tons of punishment for me. I'm gonna play the stink bug. There we go. Now the leaping trap here unfortunately has reach. And I wish it didn't, but it does. Okay, Grizzly. Uh, I'm just gonna sit on this. Unfortunately, the uh, trap kills the raven. I hate that. Oh, I got a pelt though. I think, okay. I think if I play Elk Fawn here, it won't move over. Is that right? Okay, it kills the Mole Man, unfortunately, but I get a pelt, whatever that's worth. I guess I can use these pelts for blockers later. So it moves over, and that's great, because now it turns into an elk. But I'll get two damage out of it. Unfortunately, we'll kill the Leaping Trap. I wish it didn't, dude. I also don't have any items. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> uh, let's play the Mole, actually. This is perfect. The Mole can take six damage. The elk is two damage. It's gonna get killed by that leaping trap. Okay, this is actually fine. We'll do this. Bring the grizzly out. 
Nice four damage here. Leaping Trap does kill the elk. Okay, just one more damage and we shift uh, shift phases. Oh my god, the adder killed it. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put out the Ant King against the wolf. It's gonna kill the wolf. By the way, this Ant King, uh, this is my death card. It's really overpowered. It's a one sacrifice, four six that counts as an ant, so really good. Okay, let's see what you got. I have no idea what the second phase does, so this might be a twist. I might lose. What, you got eight grizzlies? Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Oh no, you get my stuff? Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Whoa. Okay, so I was kind of joking about the eight grizzlies thing. Okay, so actually I was afraid he was gonna take my stuff. The trader, when he said let's trade, I was like, no, I have two really good things out. Well, really what I need to do here, actually, the, the rest will stay and fight for me. Oh my, I'm trading pelts. So wait, if I just take these four, then I'll do eight damage and win, right? Am I wrong about that? So it's a good thing I held on to these pelts, actually. I thought about playing them. Uh, I'm not actually gonna play these. I just want them, like, out of the way, I think. Let's see. Let's take this elk. I would have chosen differently. Okay. Well, I don't really... Oh, it's my turn. Oh, I win. Wait, is it that easy? I think it might be that easy. Just on the off chance it isn't, though. Here. Uh, let's put a squirrel out, rabbit, and uh, put this bloodhound here. I mean, that wins it, right? And I got tons of overflow there! Dude, I knew this deck was OP, let's go! Need a light? Yes, I do, actually. You keep blowing out my candles, I got an achievement. Face to face, all right. Perhaps one of these would entice you. Next boss, I'm excited. Amoeba. So I saw this earlier. Um, that's why he's not saying anything about it now. He offered it to me before and I was like, uh, no, it's basically a random sigil. I don't know, I just don't feel like that would be good. Child 13 though. I'll take child 13. Always want more sacrifices. Okay. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. The end is near? Really? Hmm. Oh yes, I know. Oh ho ho ho! Look at this! I, I'm going to the center, I need items. Uh, let's see. I get plenty of bones. I'll take a free squirrel. I'll take two free squirrels. Which is better, black goat or squirrel? I feel like actually just taking three squirrel bottles would be the best move. Am I wrong? So is this the end? Is this the end of the game? Cool cabin. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marks the end of your travails. You say that like it wouldn't. You say that like there's a twist. <laughs> Hello? Oh! I'm in first person! Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. This is the cabin that we're in right now! I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. What? The trial of skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. The trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. Oh my god. I don't... I don't think I have 
anything like that. I don't I don't have any more pelts. I use them all up against the trapper. Airborne? I guess we have to go for airborne. <laughs> yeah, got it! Ah, Stoat is a card with the airborne sigil. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game. You don't even need to draw them. Really? The boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Ho 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 ho! The boon of the bone lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. Eh, not so high on that one. Sorry, I hit the microphone. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. I'm choosing that. That's always the best. Give me that. We will repeat that once more. What? The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. Or the trial of the fiend. The three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. Sure. The trial of rarity. Ah, mole man is a rare card. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Another choice of boons, the boon of the forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. I don't want that. I want to be able to sacrifice things. You will start a battle with a black goat. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. You may draw twice. I'll draw twice. Yeah. Card advantage. Okay, we got a ton of boons just now. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately I must soon put you to death. Are you gonna have another mask or? Why are you so big? So this is the cabin where we were, huh? Oh! <laughs> You're a weird forest man. You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Uh... I guess so. I tried to move around and it wouldn't let me. I hope you are adequately prepared. <laughs> no, don't blow up my candle! Perhaps one more to be safe. Three candles?! You think you got enough candles, dude? Whoa, what's that? Okay, I'm getting my OP squirrels. Look, his masks are... floating by. Okay, what you got? You got a mole man, you got an amalgam. But what's gonna happen when I blow out the candles? We will play... a mole, actually. And... Uh, I think that'll be it for now. Turning down my... Uh... Oh, oh! I get to choose two cards! Any cards in the deck! Oh! Not to be gross, let's not blow our load right away, okay? Because I don't know what happens when you extinguish one of the candles. So I don't want to be like, oh, easy, we take Ant King, we take Grizzly, we put them on the board, we do eight damage a turn, we win. Although maybe that might be the way to go. Let's take Ant King. Maybe we want Raven out to start, too. Okay, so clearly we sacrifice Mole here, but Mole's actually gonna take the hit from Amalgam again. Mantis God, wow. I'm actually gonna put the smoke out, too. We're gonna sacrifice both of these for Rat King. And uh, the Mole Man's gonna block them anyway, so we gotta kill that thing. Let's put out another rabbit, and uh, we will turn this into Raven Egg, put that right there so we can get some, start getting some free damage in. Oh, you just killed it. Oh, you just, oh, you just. Oh, you just took out my entire board. It's a good thing I didn't put the Ant King down. Asshole. We need to kill these amalgams. Um. I'm actually gonna take both of these. Okay, so how much do we have? We have a lot. So, I'm actually- okay, I'm gonna put the stink bug here. The stink bug is going to kill the mantis god, so we won't have to worry about that anymore. Well, the turkey vulture actually isn't gonna kill the amalgam. That's okay. Let me... Let me actually throw in the ant king here. I 
fisherman, so does he take my ant king or does he take my stink bug? He kills my stink bug, actually. <laughs> okay. So, I need to kill these two amalgams. Alternatively, what I can do is I can just put turkey vulture out and then I extinguish a candle. Guaranteed. Well, go ahead and take the rabbit then, actually. Oh, I didn't actually do it. Oh, okay. Actually, that's perfect. If he moves the rabbit, if he if he hooks the rabbit and takes that, I'm I'm totally okay with that. Put you right there, mole man. Okay, so what happens when the when the candle extinguishes? What do you do? Do you get any sort of effect? You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Reginald and Lewis, huh? I remember that one fondly. Okay, so we got Reginald who has uh, poisonous coming up to kill my Ant King, which I saw coming. Which is why I didn't want to put the Ant King and the Grizzly Bear on the field at the same time because they're my power cards. Mole Man over here is going to have a tough time against Amalgam. Um, Ant King is going to kill the Stump. I'm wondering... I really want this Gold Nugget to die. I don't I don't know if I, it's going to happen. Now, I have a question about how this works. If I run out of cards in my deck, am I, is it just over? Or does it recycle? I have a feeling it's just over. And I'm very worried about that. Okay, we need something to do two damage to uh, old Reginald here. Two damage. Can we do two damage? Well, let's draw. I think I'll probably play the squirrel and then I'll play Stunted Wolf. It'll kill the Reginald, kill the Amalgam, but keep the rabbit in play. Totally fine with me. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, it's not... This isn't really that impressive. Do I have, I have one pelt? I feel like I have to take this. Yeah. Winged Death. That's a... This is one of my old death cards! Winged Death! It's a, no, it's a, it's a, it's a card that's free. 3-2 Winged. And it's gonna kill my stunted wolf. Good thing I have that bullfrog. I'll sit. Not really a good move there. Prospector is coming back out, so what? Okay, so he's showing that he's gonna turn my cards into gold nuggets again. Very irritating. But I do need to kill the winged death. Uh, I hate to do this, but there you go. Kill it. Oh my god, you replaced my gold nuggets? This is annoying because the kingfisher is just gonna sit there. I have to kill the rabbit. The hardest thing about this is that his stuff is so crap that it can't kill the gold nuggets he turns my cards into. So then my board is just blocked. Which is very irritating. Can I get rid of these? I want, oh, I want to get rid of them so bad. Well, anything I play anyway is going to get, um, oh, it wants me a draw, my bad. Yeah, I've, I've got a million squirrels. Anything I put down, he's gonna take anyway with the hook. Um, there's actually no way to get the grizzly out either. And I've got nothing but squirrels. This is so irritating. Sacrifice it for a child 13. Then we sacrifice child 13 for worker ant, and we get two airborne for three damage. The battle had taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. This is very annoying. Wait, oh, they don't attack it. They don't attack it. They don't, at oh, this is so stupid. I was really excited for this. I guess I just, the gold nuggets really 
screwed me, like, really bad. Really hard. I lose, I guess. Well, now I know what happens when you run out of cards. You made it so far. Yeah, I know. I've got the film roll. I know that I'm supposed to take his picture with the film roll in the camera. Because he's like, oh, you didn't think I would have a film roll in that camera, did you? So close, that last one. I doubt you will make it as far. Look. Uh, uh, yeah, I get it. What is that? Try to stay focused. <laughs> You're a starting deck. Yeah. Why do I always get the bullfrog in my starting deck? Did I make a decision at some point that puts the bullfrog in my starting deck each time? Very underwhelming. What? What? I have a... Where does this go? What is this? What is that? I haven't gotten up in a while. I keep grinding out the, <laughs> the card game, the stupid card game. What? I don't know. I don't... Why did I just put that plant down? Also, what does this do? The pain is unbearable! Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Ah! It is done! The master is free! Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Who's Magnificus? What? Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. No, you won't. You're a, you're a puddle of goo in a bottle. No boons at all? Pathetic. How did you get this far? I didn't get any boons this time. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Am I ready? I guess. I've got a pretty good deck this time. Let's just hope that it works. I've only got one item and it's the dagger though. It's my, my little get out jail free card. Put this thing down. That gets one flame gone. And that gets rid of the amalgams. Oh, it gets rid of the amalgams. <laughs> Two really bad death cards. Sure, take them. They're so bad. Okay, Igro is gonna kill. Fuck you. I was feeling really salty after that run. I was feeling really salty that time. Um, Stoat's gonna kill KC. Um, Reginald's gonna come in and kill my Igro. So both of these are gonna die. Mantis God's gonna stick around and do two damage. Anything I put down is gonna get hooked, so. Let's just go ahead and draw a squirrel, and I think I'm safe. I gotta make sure he's not gonna do four damage. Mantis God's gonna do two damage. Reginald's gonna come in and kill this guy. But we're looking at two damage here. I'm pretty sure. I have to be careful. Okay. Winged death. That's another one of my death cards. Oh, no Here's the issue Because I could just put a scroll down and put in this flying nine powered wolf and hit and And take him down into Well, actually that would work. I was gonna say because if winged death comes in and it gets reset to the middle then they'll do five damage, and I will die. If if I take out one of the candles, then that means that um, Wing of Death should get removed. Actually, so maybe I'll do that. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. Um, I'll actually put it... Well, I have to block. Yeah. There we go. Second candle gone. Bye-bye.
Oh, all of them got removed. What now? No, I don't know what happens next. This is not fair, <laughs> dude. Not fair. Not fair. I don't know what's happening. I just put like a, like my my ultimate card on the board. Was it gonna wipe the board? This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes, but it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Now that is value. What? Moonstrike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. So it's gonna attack all four spaces for one damage. It's also got uh, reach, so it blocks flying. My Elder Wolf, by the way, 10 power here was this title lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. I am gonna grab a squirrel because I am gonna need more than just uh, this. I'll take, I'll do 10 damage. Okay, wait. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm still like destroying this guy actually. Okay, this actually isn't that scary. I'm just collecting cards right now. Look at this, look at this card. Look at, <laughs> Have you ever seen a more aptly named card? It's flying and it's got trifurcated strike. I kind of want to put it down, but I don't know. I, I I don't know what's gonna happen after the moon. I'm scared. The moon's gone. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. It would be very fitting to play this card to do it because it'll do like nine damage to him, but um. I'm just gonna, I, cause I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna be like, ha, you thought you defeated me? Now I wipe your board and I, my final form is unleashed. Is it over? What happened? Achievement unlocked, enduring victory. I guess I don't need to say it cause you guys can see it now. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Is that supposed to be me right now? Well, it is the Pony Island developer, so, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, okay, all right. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Oh, God. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. This is too real. I hate this shit. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay. And our first rare is... A Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I I'll, gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I, I have done I mean, pack openings on stream before. They're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory. But, but um, it's not like my main thing. My hands. So I feel okay. like it's okay. See what we got here. Some jank cards. Show us what you're opening. You're not even doing it right. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is. There's no anticipation. Bam dog. Not exactly riveting so far. You need a camera behind you. Packs to go. Or you need to Next hold it up to the camera. Come. Oh, you're getting a phone call. Just cut out this part. Do you have an editor or something? I'll just cut out this part. You would know that if you were editing it. Do you have an editor? Big time YouTuber. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Huh. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. 
That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. So, fingers crossed. Dude, if if he made actual inscription cards, that's pretty that's pretty really badass. Definitely stands the test of time. Let's see what they look like. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Oh, cool they look card, different. But not going to be worth very much. It looks like a Magic the Gathering card. All right. Let's see what Interesting. Got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. A resealed pack. Suck. Oof. That's why I don't buy vintage card packs on eBay. They're either going to be weighed or resealed or something. I don't trust it. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. You know what would be interesting is if uh, the developer actually put something at those coordinates. I'm sure it's been found by now, so I'm sure somebody's got it. I think the uh, <clears throat> Welcome to the Game Developer did something like that. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp. And shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There's Whew. the inscription card. Pretty cool. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is actually a thing to get close to. What was the card well that had the coordinates on it? Okay. Skeleton. Whew. The, it's the skeleton card, huh? Okay, we got error here. Can't even see that one. What happened? All right. <clears throat> Did you dig That's it up? Why the skeleton? You always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Don't Every call time. me a don't call me a boy. It's you just weird. Come prepared. <sighs> okay. What, do you think children are watching your digging a hole in the forest video? No. No, no. They're off watching some Roblox video or something, bud. They're not here for this. You already lost them. There's not okay. enough memes in this video. This is it. They're clicking off in droves. They're wondering why you don't have as many subscribers as Markiplier right now. We dig. That's not digging. Doing a bad job so far. <laughs> oh, you think it's it? So it was that shallow, huh? I give a seventy-five percent chance it's a rock, but only one way to find out. <sighs> Riveting. The boys and girls everywhere are enjoying this so much. What the fuck? They're not busy watching Mr. Beast right now. That's for sure. Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. It's a box. What's in the box? Oh, it's a floppy disk. With, it says inscription on it. <gasps> what? Guys, well, are you seeing this? Whatever it is, I'm uh. It can't take up that much I'm space. I'm a little confused. You know how much, <laughs> you know how much space floppy disks have on them? <laughs> Not enough for like any piece of software, really. I mean, it would have to be really primitive. Interesting. So this is the next day. Okay. Can't hear you, bud. You're mumbling. Steambot Willy. Right. Fine. That's funny. Wow, great video. <laughs> yeah, terrific. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. 
Video's not very long, so... Oh my god, I can hear the hard drive. This is the game that we just played. It's the exact, uh, yeah. This is the exact menu. Mmm, mm-hmm. -hmm. Interesting. Stop browsing footage. Well, I've already browsed the foot. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I think that's it. Okay. So what's this? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. Um, is this just like a slab of meat? Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Okay. Stand right there. <gasps> I got the- I got the film roll! Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Give it back! I turned him into a card. I turned Mr. Forest Man into a card. What? Is that his body over there? Oh no. So this is what was behind that door. This? What did I? I clicked on it. Now what? Now we have a new game option. Interesting. That's what the icon on the wall was. Unexpected data encountered. Wiping unexpected data. No backup to restore. Creating a new save file. Purging deck data. No! Collection data. No! My deck! I got an achievement. This is like the globe on the... On the cabin wall. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Leshy. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Is that what I just did? With Leshy? Whoa. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Is your ambition to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts? What? Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. PO3 become the scribe of technology. Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. I don't know. I thought we were done with the game. <laughs> um, it looks like this is starting a new section. So probably a good time to end the video, actually. The art style is completely different now. Look at this. Crazy, dude. We'll pick up this in part three, I guess. Let me know what you think about inscriptions so far. I am enjoying it. I did find the RNG to be a little cruel. There's a lot of cut footage of me getting to the final boss. Well, me getting to what I thought was the final boss over and over and over again. Um, and just like not having the cards I needed to beat them or uh, bad luck. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was kind of frustrating. But I do like the card game. 
And I'm interested to see if we're gonna continue playing the card game in this new area, because it looks like we do, we, we pick a deck. It'll be interesting to see where the game goes from here and how much longer it is, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about inscription so far. It finally got like super meta towards the end of this video, like I thought, like I kind of expected from the Pony Island developer. If you've never seen Pony Island, by the way, this will make a lot more sense uh, if you see their previous game. They kind of like doing this type of stuff, which is cool. It's creative. I enjoy it. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.